Only on two tonight, more remains buried in a high-profile murder case. This makes it the third time Laura Miller's family has gone through this painful process. Laura's father, Equisearch founder Tim Miller, speaking to our Robert Arnold tonight. And Robert, this is now three times in three decades for this family. And Chris, if you'll permit me a small personal observation, I do believe today's service brought Tim Miller a sense of peace. His daughter, Laura, disappeared in 1984, and it wasn't until today all of her remains were finally laid to rest. In the perfect world, a child buries their parent. Unfortunately, things happen where a parent does have to bury their child, have to bury the same child three different times because of reasons out of our control. It was... It was, you know, pre pretty devastating. Volunteers, family of the missing, investigators, even Galveston County District Attorney Jack Rohde bowed their heads to honor the life of 17-year-old Laura Miller. I think I heard her low voice say, Dad, I'm so sorry for all the pain that you've been through. Laura was among the four victims found in the so-called killing fields in the 80s and 90s, murders that have never been solved. Due to errors at the Galveston County Medical Examiner's Office during that time, Tim had to bury portions of his daughter's remains twice before. He sued the county and settled. Then, at the end of 2019, Tim was told more of his daughter's remains were found stashed in a box at the ME's office. He filed another lawsuit, then decided to drop it. Why should I make those people pay for a mistake that somebody made? years ago and, and that person's no longer alive. Laura's murder is the reason Tim founded Texas Equisearch, an organization that has saved countless lives around the world. Tim said he is now focusing on the legacy founded on his daughter's memory rather than the pain of her passing. It was time to say goodbye. It was time to say goodbye. It was very, very difficult carrying that little casket, but it's time to say goodbye. And Laura's final remains were placed in her grave here at the Mount Olivet Catholic Cemetery. As for the investigation, Tim says he remains optimistic an arrest will one day be made. Reporting live from Dickinson, Robert Arnold, KBRC, Channel 2 News. We admire his strength and bravery, Robert. Thank you.